What's up guys, it's your boy Dev1. This video is brought to you by theaudiobank.com. And in this video we're gonna learn how to chop samples into the drum rack in Ableton Live. Now I already have three that I picked because I knew I was gonna do this tutorial for you guys, so I wanted to be able to move through this quickly. So let's get to it. Let's chop up these samples. I have Ableton loaded up already. I'm gonna find my sample. And the first one that I'm going to do for you is a drum one. So I'm going to click it and drag it right into an empty clip slot. Once we do that, we are going to right click on it and we are going to select slice to new MIDI track. Normally I'd probably pick a 16th note time division, but for this I'm going to pick an 8th note. Say OK. Now our drum rack is populated. Let's hear these samples. Now, if you click on the sample right here, then you can edit your sample because the editor will pop up. I'm going to try to find the places in which the samples start and end, and I can fix the decay in the way that it fades out just by pulling on the macro that's going to be on the left-hand side. Even though you see it here, it's on the left-hand side by the macro. This is great for all of you that don't have drum packs. Just download some drum loops, chop them up this way, and build up a huge arsenal. Let's chop this sample up. So I'm just finding my points where I want them to start and end clean. Sounds good. Okay, that one needs a little work. Probably starting point. Okay, that one definitely the starting point, so let's move that over. That's much better. Let's find the ending, make sure it ends clean. It's pretty good. Okay, there's just air there. So I'll probably forget that one, move on to the next. There's my snare. Beautiful. And looks good. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to make sure our MIDI controller is connected. We're going to go up to Preferences, and we are going to select Link MIDI. And we are going to, in this case, uh, use the M-Audio Oxygen 25, but you would pick whichever your controller is. Once it's picked, it should start working automatically. Now that we have what we need, we can close out of this and listen to our sample while we play the keys. Okay, cool. Do you notice the note on triggering? I mean, how the samples are cutting out when I let go of the keys? You could easily change that by pushing up the release and it will play the whole sample. I'll do that in just a second. Fixing my starting point here. Nice clean kick. Nice. Much better. Let's make sure we got the whole thing. All right. That's a clean snare right there. Okay, I definitely like these. Now we have to play with this release. Let's push that up right now. Much better. And keep in mind, if you want to choke these, if you have, like, say, two hi-hats, like an open hi-hat and a close, um, if you go over to the left-hand side of the macros and click on one of those little tabs, you will find your choke groups, and you could just put them on the same group, and they will uh, go into monophonic mode and cut each other off. Now that we have them laid out across all of our keys, we can record it that way and do the same thing for a musical sample. So let's move on. Now, since I had those slamming boom bap drums, I have to have something that goes really good with that. So I'm going to drag in this guitar. It's a really aggressive sounding guitar sample. I want to chop it up, so I'm going to drag it in right here. Same thing. I double click it to look at it. I am going to right click on it here. Slice to MIDI track. Now I pick my time division. Again, remember that once you lay it down, it will automatically populate. And keep in mind, there's other ways to sample that take a little bit longer. Everyone has different style. I'm just showing you a quick way to do it. 
because we have to go in and edit these one by one. For example, if you knew the tempo of the original sample and you make that the tempo of the session, then you slice it to a 16th note, you probably get them right on point if it was a perfect loop. And if not, then you'd have to go in and manually change it. So I'm gonna show you this way anyway, because I feel like it's a little bit quicker. I'm just setting up my guitar so that sound nice on the pads or the keys. They're arranged properly. And you can zoom in, especially if you have a push or another controller, you can set them to zoom in and just fine tune it and get it perfect. I think once you get it right on the first transient and end transient, you're good enough, so. Again, this is really great if you don't have samples and loop packs. Uh, you, you can pretty much take anything and just change it. I mean, who's really going to know? Alright, this is starting to sound like something. Let's check out what it sounds like. Uh. Break it down. <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool. All right, so that's how to chop up a sample in Ableton and lay it out across your drum rack. Let's move on to chopping a vocal. So I'm going to grab my vocal. Once I have it in the clip slot, I'm going to right click on it, slice to MIDI. I'm going to pick my time division and be careful with the length. Like I said, the higher the time division, the more pads that are going to populate, which in some cases is what you want. Let's take a listen. That's pretty cool. And guys, it is just that easy to chop up a vocal sample. Now you could just pitch it, throw some effects on it, and that's what's happening across pop music, EDM music worldwide. Let's check it out on the pads. <laughs> And it is just that simple. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. It will move us up in the ranks and we really need your support so we can bring you more great content. And if you want more content from us in the future, please hit that subscribe button and also click on that little notification bell so that you can check out every time we upload a video or go live in the near future. This is Dev1. This video has been brought to you by theaudiobank.com.